So there's a very famous quote which says that the more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. And right now, if you look at the world, we are at a war. And the world is not at just the war with the coronavirus or the COVID-19 pandemic, but most important, importantly, it is also at war with recession. That's correct, ladies and gentlemen, the recession has entered the world. If we observe and look around at the global economy or even the economy of whether it is a developed country or a developing country, I think uh, the crisis has, has already hit the markets, right? And we were looking at the GDP and the numbers falling and the jobs being lost. So all that is happening around, right? A lot of people, uh, especially students and a few very early startup guys reached out to me on various social media platforms that they wanted me to speak about it, that what is my opinion about recession. So in this video, I'm going to talk about primarily recession. And most importantly, I'm going to give you three tips that I think are going to help you survive recession. Most importantly, before we jump into this video, I want to clarify one thing very, very clearly that I am not a subject matter expert when it comes to recession or finance or economy. And therefore, I'm not going to give you any kind of analysis around economy or finance. This is primarily uh, a video about what I think should be done by students, early stage entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs in general, professionals, so that they can fight this situation or at least survive the recession period, which is going to last for another couple of months or maybe a couple of years, right? Um, also, most important, importantly, as I said, I am neither a financial advisor or a financial analyst or a financial guru. So therefore, this is a non-financial video. But despite the fact, uh, let me put up three tips up front, which are related to finance. One is everybody would know by now that they, they should, shouldn't be picking up new loans. So if you have any loans or any AMIs coming up, please clear them off as soon as possible. And most importantly, stop wasting your money. So do not pick up new loans. If you have an existing loan, clear it up. And most importantly, don't waste your money. money. So these are the three upfront tips around finance. But as I said, I will not be talking about in depth in terms of finance. So let us look at three ways or three tips how we can survive recession as professionals, as entrepreneurs, as students. Number one thing, thing is a challenge that I see with a lot of people, especially students and early stage uh, entrepreneurs is lack of skills. So now if we look at the startup ecosystem or even if we look at companies who are going to hire professionals for the first time or freshers or professionals in general, the, the, the companies are going to only hire people who have either who have either very strong analytical and creative skills, which, which cannot be replaced by a machine or which cannot be automated. Or most importantly, they're going to retain the employees which are multifaceted. The very simple reason is that companies are going to invest every penny very, very wisely and, the, the, and therefore they're going to cut on all non-relevant jobs. The, the point that I'm trying to make here is that uh, you, if you haven't learned the relevant skill sets till now, please start focusing on learning relevant skills. And uh, of course, I would like to or uh, try can, I, can, I can try and make a separate video around it. So if you want me to give you a detailed analysis on skill sets and what are the modern skill sets and uh, especially analyzing skills from the learning curve point of view, I can make it. So please let me know in the comment section below. Now, uh, other than skill, I think the second challenge that all of us have in general, especially again, freshers I'm going to talk about is being in the comfort zone. And I'm not going to give you any motivational speech around, around getting out of the comfort zone. But the problem is that we have this hesitation of not meeting people or not building network, right? So in the time of recession, the most important thing that is going to help you survive is going to, going to, going to be a network. You want some work and some money to keep on flow, keep, keep coming in and keep flowing in. And I think people who, are, who will be the laid out of jobs or who uh, are even current jobs, there will be very limited job security. There's technically nothing, nothing will be called or be like, be, be, be uh, called as a job security. And therefore you would want some money to come in. And therefore in that case, your network, your connections, most importantly, your social media profile in general, social media connections, especially on LinkedIn, uh, will work out for you. And also when I say uh, building connections, I think you will have to step out of comfort zone. You cannot just be a cubicle level employee or you cannot be a person who would who would consider him to be an introvert and to not talk to, talk to people. So, 
that kind of skills also so so skills like networking building connection with people negotiation giving presentations and especially reaching out to people on social media will become very very important make sure you have some work flowing across towards you third and the most critical thing is start building your brand right and i cannot emphasize it enough in 2020 especially when the world is not in the right situation if somebody would have to invest any kind of money they would be they would they will make sure that investing their money very very wisely with this what i mean is that people are only going to trust brands so if you do not if you are not a brand so technically when i say brand if you do not look credible and trustworthy on social media or off the social media of the internet in the real world people are not going to trust you because uh, brand technically denotes trust so whether it is a company or whether it is a independent independent professional uh, you will have to start working on your brand building no matter what so uh, uh, it's it's a it's a great time it's a right time so that you start putting out your things online whether in form of video or blogs or articles or images or infographics or presentations whatever you are so start focusing and building on your personal brand right so these are uh, these are three very critical and important things that i think would help you survive the session number one start building skills as i said if you want me to make a detailed video around building skills comment in the comment section below let me know in the comment section below and i will be making a detailed analysis around what skills to learn and most importantly the curve you need to have and the, the prerequisite you, you need to have to learn the modern skills so start building skills start building a network and start building a brand and most importantly take care of money the jobs are going to cut down only the key jobs the key skill sets and most importantly importantly the creative and analytical jobs will remain so it is very very important for all of us to make sure we have the right skill sets uh, with us and we are relevant to the market if you are not relevant to the market you will very soon be thrown out and somebody else will be there to replace you whether a machine or a or a human being so yeah make sure you're working on these tips and if you have any more comments if you have any more questions and most importantly if you have any more inputs around uh, uh, around these things and if you think there are uh, any other topics i want to I, I should be talking about or if you have any more suggestions put them in the comment section below i'd be more than happy to have a look so yeah that's all from my side and i hope it was useful for all of you and i hope you will start working on all these tips that i've shared in this with in this video today